Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. I know that I am competing with the Super Bowl. Yeah, it takes some big you-know-whats to do that, right? <laughs> I've got mine DVRing because I love to watch the commercials on the Super Bowl. And the rest of it is fine. And when I get done tonight, I'll be able to watch what's left. Or I can go back and watch the whole thing. But I will definitely be able to watch all the funny commercials. Because I love those. They give me a really good giggle. I'm going to get myself set up here on my iPad. Which I have gotten pretty darn good at, I might add. Oh great, it says my Facebook is installing. That's wonderful. <laughs> so just when I said I was getting pretty good at it. It's not going to let me in. Well, we'll see if we can do it in a few minutes when it's done installing whatever it's installing. What did my computer didn't install the other night? I woke up and my computer said that it couldn't finish updating because I had some application open. And then everything went to hell in a handbasket from there. Like, it deleted my printer driver for my label maker. It, um... <clears throat> It wouldn't let me do a whole bunch of stuff and I had to call Apple and I had to call Dymo and nobody could give me any answers and it, it was just technology. It's so much fun when it works, right? Oh, I gotta change my glasses. Hang on a second. Let's see, I gotta grab these glasses because those I can't see what you guys are typing to me. Hi, Cynthia. Hello, Linda and Deb and Susie. I'm so happy to see you here tonight. So, I hope you guys have had a good week. I have had a super duper busy week. I'm really excited because I got my whole studio cleaned up. Um, you know, I had a whole bunch of junk that got dumped in here from my office downstairs that I really didn't know what to do with, but I just really didn't want to get rid of it, right? So some of it I got rid of, some of it I found a place for. Got everything cleaned up. Um, over the weekend I had a visitor, so that was kind of fun. One of my friends, do you guys remember when I went to Marquette, Michigan? Steve and I did, and we did a little biking and, you know, just hanging out. Um, well, we met with Connie up there, and Connie is um, met me through following me on Facebook. So that's kind of cool, right? So we met with her and her boyfriend for dinner. Well, she came down here to help me over the weekend, and oh my gosh, she was a fabulous helper. Um... We got all the cactus card pre-cut cardstock packs packed and ready to roll. My order comes in, I think, tomorrow, so I'll be able to get those out Tuesday morning. Um, and we also got all of the bingo pre-cut cardstock packs and all the envelopes packaged with all the fun product. So, who's super excited about bingo Wednesday night? I am. I'm really excited about it. Um, I have a very... Um, good attendance so thank you guys so much like holy cow I wasn't expecting quite the numbers I got but we're gonna have a really good time my order came in with all of the door prizes I'm gonna be giving over three hundred dollars away um, and we're going it's a card class and then we're just gonna play bingo in between making cards so that's the fun part of stamping and then the fun part of the little bingo we're gonna play and so it's gonna be pretty cool hi Nancy hi Bobby welcome so, um, Stampin' Up! has some really fun things going on, um, and I wanted to tell you about a new offering because you guys hear me talk about joining my team all the time. It's always better to be start part of something bigger, right? And if you're at home stamping by yourself and you're not getting a discount on your products, you need to join my team. Number one, you're going to get a discount. Number two, you get all the fun of being with a bunch of other people who are as enthusiastic and crazy about stamping as you are. So I just wanted to mention that because during celebration, which ends this month, I want you guys to remember that it's not three months this year, it's two months, and then it's coming back again in July and August. We're gonna have another celebration. But right now, during celebration, till the end of this month, you get over 200 sheets of designer series paper when you order the discount shopper kit. Now, you also get to pre-order, just like we do, 
um, about a month ahead of time any stuff that we have coming out. And that's where my little presentation here comes in. Look at this. Oh my gosh. We have butterflies and we have butterflies and some really cool little elements in here too. So this is a new offering called Butterfly Bouquet, the whole thing is. And it comes with a stamp set and dies. And let me see if there's, there's actually two. Oh, this, I was shocked. Two sets of butterfly dies, really, really detailed and then outlined and then some really cool little elements here. But um, this is available as a pre-order. This is going to be going live to customers next month. So as a discount shopper, you get to pre-order early anything that Stampin' Up! has to offer. And, well, when they, you know, tell us we can. <laughs> I mean, most promotions we get to order early from. But look at this designer paper. Oh, I think I'm going to have to take it out. I'll worry about getting it back in there later. Look at this. Um, I'll do it this way. Well, this isn't working. So um, I'll do it this way. <laughs> you get a whole bunch of sheets of this paper. And this one. And this one. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty that is. And this one. And then when you flip it over. Wait, but wait, there's more. I feel like an infomercial. <laughs> we have some just some really nice little patterns on the back that are fun. Here, I'll just lay that down. Instead of trying to keep it all together. I can see a disaster coming. Can you? <laughs> I'll drop the whole thing and then we'll be playing 52 pickup. But yeah, this is the new paper that is available with the butterfly bouquet. I think that's what it's called, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that's what the suite is called. And I'll worry about getting this in here later. Let's see. I'll put that right there. I've got a bunch of it because I'm in a bunch of swaps. And that's another cool thing. Once you join my team, you can swap with us. My team does a monthly swap every month. And... Um, I'm going to show you a swap tonight so you'll get all the deets on that. This is also available with this butterfly promotion. And you get two sheets of this specialty paper. And it's like a wood, a very pale wood grain paper. And then the other side is just kind of a very, very mute pattern. But this is also part of the promotion. Now, this whole thing is going to be available to everybody to order next month. And it's a preview to these being in the annual catalog. So we just get it early. We get to play with something new early. It's going to be fantastic. I have to be kicking butt on this here shortly because I've got a whole bunch of swaps that I have to make. So I'll have lots and lots of ideas for you guys. Um, oh, let me get this put over here. Oh, and if you're on my team, I just happen to have ordered an extra set that may or may not be a door prize. I love spoiling them. We have a team meeting Tuesday night. We do it via Zoom. Hang on, I'm looking for, oh, prizes. And everybody who watches the team meeting live gets the opportunity to um, be entered in door prizes. And um, I have somebody in our team that puts everybody's name in a bucket. She picks out 15 to 20 names. And then I send out door prizes to everybody. So it's really fun. Now, we have prizes coming from next, from next week, from last week. And you guys, don't let me forget to do my mail. Look at my mail. Can you see my mail? This is my, my mail over here, and it's like overflowing because I forgot to do it. Oh, and Debbie said, don't forget to share. Yes, don't forget to share this video because that really helps me out. So, when you comment, like you're doing right here, if you've never commented on this live video, or you can comment later on YouTube if you're watching the replay, or you can comment later when you're watching the replay here on Facebook, um, just comment and say, hi, from Madison, Wisconsin, or wherever you're from, because that gets you entered into a drawing to win fabulous prizes. Hi, Ingrid. I know I love the butterflies, too. I'm so excited. Okay, so... Last week, between last week and now, all the people who commented were entered in a drawing, and I have these fun little embellishments 
And our winner is Priscilla Sestuan. I don't know how to say your last name, Priscilla, but she is from California. You know who you are. These are going to be on their way. And I just happen to remember that you have an address change and you are in my bingo. So I'm going to put these in with your bingo packet and they'll get mailed out um, Thursday. So yay, Priscilla, congratulations. And then for sharing, I have, let's see, that goes with that. This goes with this. Okay, so I have to really show this to you. For sharing my video, which you can do right now as you're watching me, you, there's a little share button and you can click on that and share that to your Facebook timeline and that really helps me out. So this is what I have for the person that won for sharing. Look at these laser cut. These just pop right out of here and you can put them right on a card front. These are so pretty. They're even so fancy. They have tissue paper in between them so they don't get all, you know, gnarled up. But here comes some more. All die cut. Absolutely gorgeous. These are called the Dandy Laser Cut Paper. And I have to very carefully put this back together because this is a little dangerous taking it out. Absolutely beautiful. And I'm not going to be able to get this back in here. <laughs> so we've got, hang on, we've got this. And a roll of the beautiful da, 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 gold ribbon, fine art floral ribbon. It has gold flecks in it. These two are going out for sharing last week. And our big winner is Eris Strine from Florida. Yay, Eris. You are going to get this. Plus, Eris is getting a pair of the tiny hands. Yay! So I also did, oh, these are dirty. I must have used these. Eris, you're going to get the undirty ones. <laughs> I don't know what I have on my little tiny hands. Can you guys see that? Huh. So these are mine. Anyways, um, Eris, you guys mentioned that you would like the hands last time. So I thought, I will give them away. <laughs> I got a whole pack of them. Eris, these are going to be on their way to you. Next up, for placing an order in the last week. Oh, I have to show this to you. So as I was moving my office, let's see if Kelly can get a package open. There we go. Sometimes it's a little harder than others, right? As I was moving my office, um, I found some things and some things that I think need to be given away as door prizes because they're so, so pretty. Do you guys remember this? This is the red and um, grapefruit foil sheets. They were part of a celebration last year or the year before. I found a whole pack and I cut it up into six by six because that's how I have to ship things. Um, we can't ship 12 by 12 paper because it costs a fortune and that's just, meh, it's terrible. So I cut it up into six by six packs. I've got this and then I can't remember who gave me this, but somebody sent in the little ladybugs. This is the last one that I have. And um, they said they found that they had two of them, so they sent one of them to me. And just so you know, this is not used, but they mounted both of them. And I think you'll be okay with this because Mary Mellish from Michigan, you are going to win this and the beautiful foil paper for placing an order last week. <laughs> Connie says, what did you say? You can't wait. You can't stop laughing about the tiny hands. I know, they're pretty funny, right? <laughs> Okay, let me move this stuff out of the way so I don't run it over with my, I almost said car, but we don't have car in here. <laughs> Hang on. Okay. Whew. So, tonight, oh, that has to go too. Tonight, I have some beautiful, beautiful cards to share with you. Not only are we going to make some cards, but I have a whole basket of celebration cards. See? S-A-B. <laughs> um, a whole basket of celebration cards. And I will share as many as we have time for. And whatever we don't get to tonight, I will share next week because they're beautiful and I want you to see them. And I want you guys to realize celebration only has three more weeks and we're done. So, yeah. Um, the other thing that I wanted to share with you is don't forget about all the beautiful paper. Like this ombre paper is so pretty. This is free with a $50 order. 
This is part of the Berry bundle. You get a stamp set and this paper for a $100 order for free. You can get this for a $50 order for free. The Blooms is so pretty. And then this, the Flowers in Field, free with a $50 order. So I just wanted to make you aware that there are a ton of paper, ton, four, <laughs> paper for free, plus all the stamp sets and the other goodies. Okay, um, we've got Kansas City is six, and the Buccaneers are 21 right now. I've got the TV on mute so I could just keep the score under wraps. So I would like, I don't know who you guys are rooting for for the Super Bowl or even if you care because I'm assuming you don't care that much or you wouldn't be here watching me. <laughs> but um, I would like the Kansas City Chiefs to win and here's why. I lived in Missouri, south of Kansas City for until I was 11. And I have very fond memories, and my dad actually helped build the stadium. I don't know if it's the stadium they're still playing in or not, but he helped um, build that stadium. So I want the Chiefs to win, and I have a cousin who is a huge Chiefs fan, and I want him to be happy. So, okay, I promise you guys the hydrangea suite tonight. We're going to be using that. We're going to be combining fine art floral with the dragonflies for another card if we have enough time to do that. And I'm hoping that I am plugged in because my screen looks kind of dark, doesn't it? Hmm. I think I'm plugged in. We'll see. Okay, let's see if my um, iPad is done updating Facebook. Thank you very much for that. I think it is. <laughs> so we're going to get on here so I can see your comments. And, oh, what can I tell you? i got to tell you my little updates, too. Oh, let me turn down my volume. Nobody needs to hear me twice. <laughs> um, so, you guys want to hear what little Miss Valerie did this week? First of all, she is full on walking. That crazy little girl. She will be, um, she doesn't turn one until April 25th. So, she's walking really, really early, which is pretty cool. And we knew she would be because she just seems to have really good balance. But, we had a ton of snow this week, and now it is so frigid cold here. It's like, I think Steve said it was like 12 or 15 below zero this morning. So, not quite sure why I live in a place where when I go outside, it hurts my face. But I do. It is super duper cold here. Anyways, um, we got a ton of snow, and Jared got stuck in the parking lot. And so, Haley put Val in her crib and ran down, she said, for 10 minutes to try and help him. And when she came back up to their apartment, little Miss Val was standing in the kitchen. <laughs> oh my gosh, Haley just about had a heart attack, right? So it's like, you think about what had to happen there for her to get out of that crib. She's never climbed out of her crib before. But you know, the crib railing is kind of high. And when a kid climbs out of the crib, they usually are going to fall pretty far, right? Yep, she was just standing in the kitchen like it was nobody's business. <laughs> A little stinker. So, um, yeah. And, you know, those are some of the, the mom lessons that we learn, right? And then I thought, what is a mom lesson that I learned? So here's a funny one that I did. Um, Jackie says it's 80 in Florida today, and I am very jealous. So when Haley was uh, probably not a baby, she was maybe like between one and two, I would say, um, we were driving someplace, nah, 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 and I turned a corner and <laughs> her and her whole car seat went over. <laughs> Mom fell <laughs> because I forgot to strap her car seat in when I moved it from someplace and it just slipped my mind and her car seat wasn't buckled at all. <laughs> she just went, meow, boom. She didn't cry or anything, but um, after I got over the horror of what just happened, then I, we laughed and laughed, right? <laughs> because we all have mom fails. We all have something that happens that you're like, oh my Lord. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's see. John update. So I told you Connie was here this weekend, and that was really fun. We got a lot of work done. We, had, we were laughing all day. It was really cool. We went out to lunch at Solea's. Full, and we had a margarita that was fun and um but guess what connie got to see connie got to see not only john's house his work truck boom 
<laughs> I don't really have anything to report on John except that Connie get to, got to see where he lives and what he drives for work. Hmm. Pretty exciting stuff, right? I haven't seen John, but Steve and John met in the, um, in the driveway plowing snow. <laughs> I know. So exciting around here. This is Jealous. So I've been looking at trips to Florida and we're I keep saying that, but I'm going to pull the trigger soon. I told Steve the other night that you're taking me someplace warm or I'll go by myself. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Don't dare me. <laughs> I will go. Okay. Um, let's see what went out of here last week was the fine art floral kits. I do have a few left. I made a few extra. So is, um, if on your card. So the kit is fabulous. Fine Art Floral is a suite in our JJ Mini catalog. Also, Hey Chick, those are up right now. They're going to be coming out later this month. So I have, um, I'm going to do an online class with the, I call, I'm calling it, oops, let me take my little note off of there, All the Chicks class because we're going to be using both bundles. And it's going to be a really, really fun class. That's on my blog right now, www.stampabove.com. And, oh, I'm so sorry, Barb, that you are frozen. I'm watching my iPad, and I'm not frozen. So I'm thinking it might be your internet. We're having a lot of trouble here with internet. So, yeah, if if you guys are having any trouble, I'm watching myself. And I'm not freezing up on my internet here. So who knows? Technically, right? Buffering. I'm not buffering. <laughs> I know. It's like, well, Kelly, that's not helpful. <laughs> I'm just telling you that it's not my internet in. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it's a big problem. Um, let's see. Steve has been building some new things in the gym. He turned our garage kind of into a gym because he went to the Y every day. And once the COVID hit, um, the Y shut down, of course, and nobody was going anyplace. So he kind of built a little gym in the garage and he just built some new thing where it's hooked up to a pulley system and he pulls it down like this. Yeah. I might go out there someday and try out a few of them. Just kidding. <laughs> I won't. Well, maybe. No. <laughs> maybe if I have a few margaritas. I don't know. <laughs> Anyhow, <clears throat> for those of you that have joined the Stamp Happy Academy website, oh my gosh, right? Right now we have four online classes on there. Remember, a basic membership is only $19.95. If you join my team, a basic membership is $19.95 a month. You can get and um, four online classes minimum every three months with uh, all kinds of other stuff going on, too. So, stamphappyacademy.ning.com. And uh, check that out. It's a lot of fun. I see a lot of you are saying that I'm freezing up in Florida, and I'm, I'm really sorry. I am not freezing up here in Menasha, Wisconsin, because I'm still rolling here. All right, I think we're ready to get started. You know what? I'm thinking, yep, I'm thinking we're going to do the hydrangea cards first. My first card that I'm going to show you woo -woo, is a technique. You're going to love it. Well, maybe. No, you will. I promise. So let me get out all my little goodies here. Let's see, what do I need? I need black ink. And hang on. Black ink. Okay, that's good. So I've got black ink. And then I'll show you some swaps that I made with this bundle because this is how these cards came about. I am in a swap and I have to create two different designs for this swap. And so this is this is what I made. Okay, here we go. Who's ready? Are you ready to flip? Let's flip the camera around. <laughs> okay, so the Chiefs are giving the Bucks the first quarter or half with penalties. That's kind of a bummer, right? You like to see everybody play good. Okay, hang on. Don't get sick. I'm going to flip my camera around. Let you see up my nose just a tad. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> well, maybe you did. Hope 
I don't hit anything. Hang on, I'm not ready yet. Let's get all of this over here out of my way so I can make sure that I'm straight here. Okay, I think we are. Are we looking okay? Yep. Okay, you guys, I think we're in good shape. I gotta keep my phone cord out of the way here. Hang on. There we go. Okay, good to go. If you had to close your eyes, you can open them up now. We're gonna get started. So, where's my stamp set? Right here. Holy cow, you guys. Oh, this comes with a set of dies, too. Where are those? I don't even know. Oh, they should be in here. Oh, here they are. I was gonna say, I don't even know if I had those out. I did. So, we've got the hydrangea dies and the hydrangea stamp set. Oh, so pretty. And this is on page 18 and 19 in the JJ Mini catalog. And there's a whole suite of products. We have the um, Mercury Glass Acetate. We have the beautiful sheer ribbon. We have these gorgeous pearls, designer series paper. Here's some beautiful samples that, of course, I encourage everybody to just copy these and make some cards. They're so pretty. And then here's the stamp set with an art. There's that um, Mercury Glass Acetate. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. So we've got a couple label dies and then all the elements of flowers and cutting out some of the flowers in here. Just really, really, really pretty. Let me... Oh, here's the... The acetate is one of the oddball papers. <laughs> I went to uh, an event in January and we got these sheets. And so this is um, from that event. But here is the acetate... Mercury glass acetate, and it's just so pretty. It's such a pretty element to go on a card. Let me set that aside. Here's that hydrangea paper, and we're not gonna be using the ribbon for this card, but we are on the next one. So, here we go. We're gonna get out our pieces and parts. Let's set that right over there so I know what I'm doing. And I have this little phone holder. Hang on, it's getting stuck. This holds my phone, but it also holds my little cheat sheet, so I know what to tell you guys for dimensions. Oh, I could put this right side up, right? That's helpful. <laughs> here comes Misty Moonlight. Now, funny thing, because when Connie was here, she goes, you know, she wasn't using Misty Moonlight very much when it first came out. And she goes, but it's really growing on me. And I said, you know what? It is on me, too. I really like it. It's a very pretty blue color. It's very different from our other blues. So I, I really do like it. I'm going to bring in one of my piercing mats here. This is just a piercing mat. I sell these. If you go into my online store and type in pierce, you're going to find this. It's going to pop right up in a search. And I just cover it with printer weight paper so I can stamp on it and I'm not stamping all over it. Okay. We've got Memento ink and Misty Moonlight ink. And the first thing we're going to do is take the Misty Moonlight ink and this big hydrangea flower. And who doesn't love hydrangeas? They are so floofy and pretty. I love them. Now what I did is I just inked up the flower part of this stamp. And I'm going to stamp it right up at the top left and the bottom right. And you want to kind of be careful not to get those leaves in there. It's not going to be the end of the world if you do but I was careful not to. There we go, just like that. All right, let me clean this off. Now remember you guys, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you would like to order any of these products, you can find my online store on my blog. And this is my current host code. So when it asks you for a host code, if your order is under $150, just type that code in. You can find that on the right-hand column of my blog all month long. And sometimes it changes, so it's all, but the current one is always there. Now, we've got four, four by, oh wait, that doesn't look right. Four by five and a quarter? Oh yeah, it is. Four by five and a quarter, whisper or basic white. And then this white layer is so we can use our stitched so sweetly dies. You're going to use the largest rectangle. And you're going to die cut that on a scrap of basic white. And once you do that, this is what we end up with, just like magic. 
I'm gonna put this back in here. If you guys don't have this Stitch So Sweetly dies, they are amazing. I love them. And I, you guys have seen me use them a lot. What's everybody drinking tonight? I know you guys are gonna think that I'm gonna say, oh, I'm same old, same old strawberry lemonade, but guess what? I'm not drinking strawberry lemonade tonight. I am drinking watermelon limeade drink that Connie let me try. Yeah, boom. <laughs> it's really good too. When I took a drink of it at first, it was kind of weird tasting because I'm so used to what I'm used to, right? But then the more I drank, the more I liked it. I, I, I messaged her and I said, it's kind of weird, but I like it. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, we've got Memento Ink here and this beautiful little sentiment that says the world is better because of you. I'm going to put this on a layer of Highland Heather. And this layer is three quarters by three and a half. And then I'm going to trim off just a little bit. I want this to be just a little bit shorter. And I'm going to do a little flag on the end. And there we go. Okay. Then we're going to take this piece and we're going to grab this big flower. Oh, I think I can close this up right now. We're gonna take the big flower, and when I have a big stamp like this, I like to leave it on my table and put my ink on it. It's hard to see what's going on when you have a big stamp and you're inking like this. So just a little tip for you that you can really see what's happening, and I just think this is a better way to go about inking big stamps. I'm gonna put this right in the middle of my stitched rectangle layer. Give it some good pressure. This is a big stamp. And of course, with a big photopolymer stamp, these clear rubber stamps, you guys, if you find that you're not getting a good image, you need this pad under what you're stamping. You would think that this surface would be the way to go, but it's not. It does not do well with these big photopolymer stamps. They need a little bit of cush. So just know that. And let's see. Next, what we're going to do, oh, I know, I need to do the words from my inside. And this has the um, sentiment that says, you make me smile. And I always love, I'm a sucker for that sentiment because I just think that's a great sentiment to send to anybody. You make me smile. Unless you're mad at them. And while then, of course, you wouldn't be sending them a card, would you? No. Okay. Next up. Here comes the technique. Now this is going to be my technique card for, where'd my plate go? The month of, this month, for the month of February for all my technique club members. And what does that mean? If you place, to be in my technique club, you place a 20, minimum $25 order once a month for six consecutive months. And at the end of that time frame, you're gonna get $30, same as cash, from me to place an order for anything you want. Plus each month you get the technique card of the month. Let me grab one here. So I can pull one out. Oh, here's a perfect one. This is my one for January. This Hey Chick with the aqua wash technique. So you get not only an instruction sheet telling you how to do it in a little sample, but you get a card made with the technique. Isn't that cute? So this is my online technique club. And this is the card that we're going to make for this month that I will be making for everybody, along with an instruction sheet. And I don't have the instruction sheet done, so I kind of forgot about that part. But don't worry, it will go out in the mail with everything else. So I've got Misty Moonlight and a Baby Wipe that I just folded up. And we're going to do the Baby Wipe technique. And so you just go around. Now, what you want to do is you want to make an ink pad. This is an ink pad as big as the stamp that you need to stamp it in. And I'm going to be using this stamp. So, oh, I forgot to show everybody my necklace. Rose Bell sent me this beautiful crown necklace that is rose gold. And I am wearing it tonight, Rose. If you're watching, the necklace is just beautiful. And the other day I had a bracelet on, I think... I want to say that it came from, mm, darn it, I just lost it. I'll remember in a minute. But I had on a beautiful silver bracelet. Now this one is Seaside Spray 
So first we had Misty Moonlight, which is the blue. Now we have Seaside Spray. And now we're gonna bring in Highland Heather. And the reason why I pulled these colors is because they're the colors that match the paper. We've got Highland Heather, Misty Moonlight, and Seaside Spray. So that's where I pulled these colors from. Now you can try any combination of colors to do this technique. Some of them are gonna look fabulous and others are gonna go, oh my Lord, that's horrible. But that's the way it goes, right? So we just have to experiment. And that's how we come up with great ideas. As you experiment, you find something by accident often. I love it when that happens. Okay, so here comes. Now, by the way, this is just a Stamparatus plate. You wanna put this on something that isn't gonna get the color all over the place because it's gonna come through the other side. So now we're gonna take this and we're going to use this as an ink pad. You see all that pretty color? Look how pretty that is. And then this will cover this entire flower poof of hydrangeas, and look how pretty that is. Now, if you want to, you could stamp off once and make it a little lighter. You could use less dark and more light on here. I'm gonna do it just down here just a little bit, and then I'm also going to take and stamp my little flower right down here. So we got a little bit of hydrangea coming in there. Let's see what happens if we, hang on, I got some scraps here. If we maybe stamp off once, Let's see what happens then. And you can just keep using this over and over and over. I'm gonna stamp off once and now I'm gonna stamp again. Ooh, and now it's much paler, right? So you get to play around with all the color, make it as dark or as light as you would like it. I think this is a really, really cool technique. And now I'm going to grab, I keep thinking I don't need all these colors, but now I'm gonna grab Old Olive. We're gonna bring this back in here. What do you guys think of that technique? It's pretty cool, right? Yeah. Easy, very easy, and you can do it in so many different colors. But one thing I want to tell you is that this technique, it's called the baby wipe technique, it does work better with a bigger image, not a detailed image. That doesn't look as good as a solid kind of a bold image. Now I've got Old Olive, and I'm going to come in, and I'm going to stamp this right over my leaf. Look at how pretty that is. And now this is a watercolor look, so it's not meant to be perfectly inside those lines. I just don't want anybody to get bent out of shape about that and think that they're not doing it right. It's meant to look watercolory, and watercoloring is not perfect. Okay, so let's put our card together. Hang on just a second. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Where did my card go? Okay, so this is gonna be the inside of our card. And so I see, holy cow, I've got a lot of people watching me. Thank you guys so much because my husband said to me tonight, you're up against the Super Bowl tonight. How do you think that's going to go? And I'm like, you know, I know I'm up against the Super Bowl and it is what it is, but I'm hoping people will come. You guys made it. Thank you. <laughs> okay. We're going to use dimensionals on the back of this layer. I'm going to grab out some baby dimensionals and some regular dimensionals. We'll just keep them up here. Oh, we're going to use these. So, I don't know what you guys had for supper tonight, but let me tell you, Steve has been cooking like a maniac. He made chili today, and oh my goodness, his chili is the best. Like, my mom makes really good chili, but I have to say that Steve's is like, it's got a little bit more different kind of flavors. And oh, he is a good cooker. He made me breakfast. He made eggs and toast for breakfast for me. And then, I don't know if I had lunch. I don't think I did. But then for supper, he made a big pot of chili. So delicious. Okay, so we're gonna put this right in the middle of our layer. And I like that. What do you guys think of that stamped? hydrangea coming off the back. I just, I like that look. You can do that with like leaves or floral, anything floral. It just looks really, really pretty. Yeah. 
Oh, I see somebody had pasties. We like pasties. You get those up in Michigan for the most part. They are delightful. They got a lot of good stuff up in Michigan. Oh, I can see this is a scrap, right? Way to utilize your product, Kelly. Okay, so we're only gonna put a dimensional on this side. We're not gonna put a dimensional over here on our little sentiment banner. I don't know why I closed my ink up, that was dumb. Yeah, go Steve, that's right. Steve has been rocking it. He's been taking really good care of me, you guys. And that's his job. <laughs> like, I made it his job to take good care of me. And let's make sure we get this. I got a little bit of glue under this side and a dimensional. Can you see that? Under that side. And now we're going to take some of these beautiful pastel pearls. These are so pretty. They're part of the hydrangea um, suite of products. And I'm going to pull those right out of there. And I'm going to take a dark purple. I'm going to put that. Whoops, where did it go? Did you see it? Did I get it? I don't know what happened to it. Oh, look it, it's right there. Meh. Now it's stuck to my finger. Now it's gonna be stuck to my thing. <laughs> oh my Lord, this girl has problems, right? <laughs> then I'm gonna take one of these kind of gray, pearly, pearly gray colors, really pretty. And then one of these light pink colors and we'll throw that right down there. <gasps> look how pretty that is. Ah. Oh. You make me smile. The world is a better is better because of you. And you make me smile. Isn't that pretty? Costco fudge rosemary. Oh my good lord. Well, I do have to tell you guys. Let me grab an envelope. Whoops, wrong drawer. I do have to tell you guys that I had a sea salt sea salt caramel from Donkers because Connie's the one who brings those to me and they are amazing. Okay, so I'm going to do my envelope and I'm going to stamp it in here again. And I'm going to just stamp this right here on the front of my envelope. Look how pretty that is. I love it, love it, love it. And then I'm going to do this. A little bit of black. Stand up, like my friend Dina says, wiggle your butt a little bit, stick it out. Oh, beautiful. Well, as long as I got the leaves on here, now you know what I have to do, right? Let's make these envelopes pretty. And here we go. Look at that. How pretty is that? I can't wait to send that out. Gorgeous. Okay, so that's my Technique Club card of the month. If you would like to join my Technique Club, pop me an email, kelly at a stampabove.com, and I will send you all the details, okay? Because I have a place on my website where you can go and read all the details, find out if it's for you, and if it's not, that's okay. Everything isn't for everybody, right? But if you would like to join, now I also usually have demonstrators that say, but I'm already a discount shopper, a hobbyist, a demonstrator, whatever you call yourself. So is it possible to get your instruction sheets? And the only way you can get my instruction sheets with the card is to be in my online technique club. And I do have a lot of demonstrators that are not on my team that are in my online technique club and they just place a $25 order just like everybody else. So um, just know that, that you can certainly do that. It's completely up to you. And if, you're, if you don't want to do that, that's okay. I'm good with that, but that's how you can be in the Technique Club. Okay, so are you guys ready for another Hydrangea card? Ah, I'm so excited. Okay, um, here comes my next card. I'll set this one aside. I'll bring this back out so you can see it a little bit. You'll see both of them. Here comes my little cheat sheet. I'm really proud of this one. I really like this layout. And don't let me forget to show you a whole bunch of them because this is the one I still have. I didn't mail out my swap yet, but I still have this one. Okay, so get all my bits and pieces out. So what we have here is a card base that is Seaside Spray. And, oh, Kelly, you have you ever had an issue with the front of the card warping? Maybe I use too much glue. Yes, okay, Anna, if you use too much glue, 
what happens is it makes worms on the front. Like if you're putting glue on this side, you're gonna get wormy looking things on this side. You're using way too much glue. Less is better. Um, and I'll show you in just a second when we glue down one of these layers. So you gotta cut back on your glue because you don't need that much glue. Okay, then, oh, does this just, this just, I love it. This just makes my heart pound. I love this paper. So, so pretty. This is the hydrangea paper. This is four by five and a quarter. And then I've got a three quarter inch by four inch strip. And we are going to take that strip and add it to our inside layer. Now, there's two white layers with this card. The smaller one is the front layer, and that's three and three quarters by five. The inside layer is four by five and a half. And you guys know that you can find all of these dimensions on my blog later tonight or tomorrow morning. It just depends on how long it takes me to get the video to download and then upload it to YouTube and take all my pictures and do all the editing and the watermarking and oh my Lord. Yeah, this is my funnest part right now is being with you guys. And it's also the easiest part because when I get off of here, there's a whole bunch of work that has to happen with editing and uploading and all the things. Okay, so isn't that pretty? But I try to have my blog post up with still photos, all the dimensions, and um, links to my store. If you want to buy anything, you'll find out a complete ingredient list on my blog. Every time I'm live, you're going to find my projects on my blog. Let's see if I can get this straight because that's kind of important. Is that just not pretty? It's just so pretty, right? Okay. All right. Kansas City's losing. Oh, boy. Happy for my Bucks fans. All right, here comes another one of these. So what we're going to do here is a little different. We are going to, um, where'd my dies go? Right here. I'm going to set this right over here. What we're going to do is we're going to, well, first I'm going to stamp, I guess. That's the first thing I want to do. And I am going to stamp using Old Olive, which may seem a little odd. Let's see. I want to make sure that's clean. Do you guys like how I do that? I do that a lot. <laughs> we're going to take this three and three quarters by five inch piece and we're going to stamp Old Olive and we're going to stamp it way over to the side. Just as close to the side as we can get it. Pretty. And then as long as we're there, we're going to take the, that was the outline. This is going to be the fill in and we're going to stamp this. And there we go, got that. And now we're gonna take this die, which is part of the hydrangea dies, and we're gonna die cut this, okay? Hang on. We're also going to take this designer series paper, and we are going to die cut these flowers. This is like a hydrangea ball of flowers right out of here, and we're going to take, whoops, a little scrap of seaside spray and we're gonna die cut this little label out of there. So let me bring in my big boss. This is our um, die cutting and embossing machine. And I have to tell you, I do like this bigger than the big shot. And I'll tell you why. Because it seems to be just a little bit tighter. And that makes everything cut out better. Hang on while I look for my, oh, here's my other plate. Oh, these are, these are my old plates, actually. The new plates have numbers on them. I don't know what happens to them. I got plates all over the place. So, we are going to, can you guys see this even? I can get this in here further. We're going to die cut these flowers right over on the left side. So, you want to kind of move them over fairly close to the edge. I've got some temporary tape here. Just going to hold them in place and we're gonna die cut. And it's really smooth. And it's got a bigger platform this way so that you're not gonna chew up those big embossing folders. Just a whole bunch of, whole bunch of love going on with this. And I call it the big boss. And then we also have the mini boss or the baby boss, which is a little die cutting machine. Okay, now this we're gonna put right here. And then we can grab this one and we can run this through 
also at the same time. Do you guys do that? Do you stack stuff up so you can... Oh, did you see that? So you can get the most out of your run through the machine. Sorry for the wiggle. You guys, I'm so excited. I forgot to tell you. I had Fred here. He's my handyman. He's the one who built this room for me. And he was here this week, and he is designing me a desk. Because I told you this desk table thing isn't working for me, right? I just feel like I could do a lot better with my space. And so Fred was here, and I'm excited to tell you he came up with a smashing idea for a desk for me. I can't hardly wait till he can get it built, and I can show it to you guys. And I still haven't decorated my office, so that's why I haven't really given you a final tour because it's still not decorated. I need to get Haley over here as soon as I figure out my desk, right? Because I don't want to put a bunch of holes in the walls because, you know, it's all nice and new. I don't want to put a bunch of holes in the walls and then have to, like, move them because the furniture moved. Okay, I'm going to get all of this off here. I think this one's dead. What do you think? I think I can throw that one away. Let's get rid of that one. And um, all these little flowers... I saved a whole bag of these because I cut out a whole bunch for swapping. So, see how pretty that is with those little flowers coming out of there? Let's get this tape off without tearing my card front. There we go. Okay. This comes right out. That's wonderful. Now, I am going to take this and I'm going to put some ribbon on here. This is the purple ribbon that is part of the hydrangea. Where'd my tape go? Hang on. Part of the hydrangea suite. I think this might be on back order yet. I don't know if it came in yet or if it's still on back order. But, oh, don't let it cover up your little flowers here. Do you see what I did? It's covering up my little flower hole. I don't want that. That's not going to be attractive. So I'll just cut that off. Okay, I did good. And you could use mini glue dots to tape this down in the back, too, if you want. But I just always have tape here. Connie said she misses my Amish stories about the Amish tape. She misses the stories about the Amish tape. I'm like, yeah, I know, but I don't miss the Amish tape at all. Okay, so isn't that pretty? Are you ready for this? Oh, look how pretty that is. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so hang tight. We got some other things to do here. Oh, all right, so now I'm going to show you how to use the glue. Do you see how tiny of glue I'm using? You don't hold it up here and squeeze it out. That's too much glue. You like scribble on it and push at the same time, okay? So you just scribble and push. This is how much glue I use. That's it. You can barely see it. My cards don't fall apart, so just know that. That's all the more glue you need. I think it was Ann that asked that question. Okay. So we've got this, and are you guys wondering about my ugly green hydrangea? <laughs> Hang tight. We're going to do pretty things. And now we're going to do this. We're going to add this to the front. Oh, isn't this so pretty? I was almost giddy when I got this done today. All right, check this out. These are all partially die cut, these little petals. And what I like to do is I like to kind of fold them up like this. And you can just roll this around and you can kind of make them stick up. And again, I'm just kind of bending my cardstock over so the petals pop out and I'm just kind of pushing them up a little bit. This is going to be so, so, so pretty. There we go. Okay. Now, don't overthink this. I'm just going to scribble some glue on the back of here. Not even thinking about where, why, how, what, don't care. Because I don't like to overthink things like that. Stick that on there. Yay. Pretty, you guys. What do you think of that? Yeah. Okay. Then we've got this little label. And I'm going to get out the blue ink. This is the Misty Moonlight ink. And we've got two little words in here. You can use the for you or the with love and I've got the with love and I'm going to stamp this on this little tag just like that and then uh, let's 
see. Where did my... Oh, there it is. Hang on. Here comes my bow jig. I'm going to take a piece of the white baker's twine. Now, our white baker's twine comes with um, uh, Blushing Bride in a combo pack. So you get two colors of baker's twine. It's called Snail Baker's Twine because it's in the snail suite. So I wrap that around there three times. And that reminds me, you guys, for those of you looking for bow jigs or these bow making things, I happen to have eight of them in stock. If you want to pop me an email, they're $10 a piece. I would be happy to get your information. And I have placed an order for more, so just know that. Okay, let me get this back over here so I don't lose it. Okay, so we've got this cute little bow. Isn't that just sweet? I've got a video that shows you how to use this too. So if you do buy the bow jig, I'll send you the video too so you don't get it and go, ah, I don't know what to do. Here comes our With Love. So what I did with this is I'm going to grab a mini glue dot. Oh, where is, I need some more ribbon here. I'm going to take a piece of this ribbon and I'm going to tie it in a loose knot. I'm going to make it fairly short. Okay, so loose knot. I didn't pull it really tight. We're going to cut this off just like that. Now, I'm going to use a mini glue dot to put this onto... Oh, hang on. I don't want to set this down because it'll get stuck to something. We're going to use a mini glue dot on a big part of our little tiny label. So I've got the mini glue dot way down there. And I'm going to put this right here. So it's kind of right by my stem. And did I tell you this is so um, Seaside Spray cardstock? And then I'm going to put this right on top of it. And then I'm going to take a little mini glue dot and I got it all rolled up and we're going to put that right on top of the purple sheer ribbon and we're going to bring in this triple bow. Holy cow, is that pretty? Ah. And let's see, what else do we need to do to this now? The other thing that I had in mind was to take a little bit of Wink of Stella. Thank you. Is that Debbie that said this pierce mat is $5? Thank you very much. I'm going to come in here and just add a little wink of Stella to a few of these flowers. And of course, if you wanted to, you could color them all the way in, you know, the whole thing. But I'm just going to add some little accents. I realize that you probably can't see this very well, but I can. And it's really pretty. So there's my next card. What do you think? I left this blank so I can use it for anything. Woohoo! All right, and then here's the rest of them. <laughs> I told you guys, this is what a whole pile of swaps look like. Now, each month, my team has a swap, and this month, I'm going to show you what the next card is. It's a moving card next, not this one, but. This is what a whole pile of swaps look like. And it's really fun being a discount shopper or whether you're planning on building a business. Getting cards that help you figure out other ideas to use, like the moving card swap. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to share all these moving cards with you that I'm going to get in the swap. And when you join my team, you can be part of the swap each month. And it's a lot of fun. So it's just a great way to use your craft and your hobby to create some new stuff. Okay, let's get this stuff cleaned up. Paint tight while I get this out of the way. And where did my sleeve go? Do you guys see my... Oh, here it is. I always try to put my dies away. I don't just like to throw those in a bucket because that's how I lose things, right? And then... Oh, here's my little bag of those flowers because I made all those swap cards, cutting out these little flowers. I thought, ooh, I could use those for something, right? Like even a shaker card, you could use these little flowers. They're so pretty. And here we go. Another little tip that I want to tell you guys, back when I was doing in-person classes, um, 
One time I stacked all this stuff up and of course all of these don't fit in one of these bins. So I put this in here and then I set some punches and some other stuff in here and I actually ruined one of my stamps because it got pressed down. So I just want to make sure, don't ever stack anything on your stamps if you're going to put them in a tray or something like this. Because you'll wreck them. That's not cool at all. Let me get this in here. Okay. Next up is... Oh, I'm going to throw this away. Oh, this is going to make my hands all dirty. Baby wipes. Here they are. Hang on, I just stuck my hand in that baby wipe. I don't want to ruin my projects. And here we go. Take a drink. <laughs> it's time to refresh yourself. Oh, here's, this, here's these little flowers um, on some cardstock so you can see what they do. Aren't they cute? Yeah, you can pop them up just by kind of folding them over and getting your fingernails under there. That pretty? Okay. Stop playing with the things, Kelly. Let's go. <laughs> Next up. is a moving card. So we are going to be using Fine Art Floral. Put that over there, put this over here, is the paper we're going to use, but we're going to use it with the Dragonfly Garden. Now, if you guys belong to the Stamp Happy Academy website, there's an online class on the website that is available to anybody with a basic membership. And again, there's four different online classes on there. This is one of them, the Dragonfly Garden. So, lots of great ideas with this bundle. Um, it comes, well, you can get it with or without the punch, but when you buy these two together, you will get a 10% discount. So we've got a little dragonfly and a big dragonfly. These are really, uh, dragonflies I love and they're very trendy right now. We've got our stamp set coming in here. And here comes our cardstock layers. So, here we go. I cut a piece of, this is the Fine Art Floral Designer Series Paper. I have an online class using this suite of products too. This is four, whoops, four by five and a quarter. I have a piece of Whisper White that is four by five and a quarter. I've got a half inch strip of, well, basic white. We don't have whisper white anymore, basic white. I've got a scrap of pool party and then my card base is going to be the pretty peacock. And this is five and a half by eight and a half. So we are going to fold this in half. And now this is a moving card. So this is, requires a little bit more, a little bit more thought. We are going to open this back up and we're gonna use a ruler. I'm gonna grab my pencil, maybe. Let's see if I can find one here. Here's a pencil. Okay, so you're gonna mark this at one and a half inches from this end. One and a half, hang on. One and a half inches from this end. Let me make sure I got this right. This one's a little bit off now because I moved my ruler, hang on. One and a half, and then of course four and a quarter is our center. We know that. And now we're gonna take on this fold line that I just made. We're gonna go down three and a half inches, just like that, okay? So I have a pencil mark one and a half inches here, one and a half inches here, three and a half inches down. I'm gonna grab my paper trimmer and we are going to put it in here. Now what I'm doing is I'm putting this pencil mark in the channel and then I've got to get this pencil mark in the channel. Okay, so I can see this one right here but I can't really see the channel here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna guess and then I'm gonna close this up and see is that pencil mark in this channel and it just happens to be. If it's not, you just move it until you get it in there. But I'm going to score this 
down to that center line. So I put a score line right here down to that three and a half inch. And now we're going to turn it this way and do the same thing. Here's my pencil mark in my channel. And now I'm going to slide this over. And I think I need to move it over just a little bit more. Let's make sure this is still where it needs to be. Whoops, I just made it move. Hang on. Pull this back. Yep, that looks good. And now I'm going to score that down to that fold line again. Okay, so that's what we have. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to fold, you have to fold on these. And so I'm going to take this and I'm going to push it over like that. Okay. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to push it over like that. And now it does this. Okay. So we can close that up. We can burnish those score lines on both sides. You can even, I don't know if you can get, get your bone folder in and burnish that center one in there. Okay, this is going to be our moving card. And what we're going to do now is you could stamp on here, you could do whatever you want, but I wanted a layer on here. Now, how am I going to get a layer on here with that, with that diagonal cut out? Well, here's what I decided to do. So I'm going to line this up. So I've got all the same margins. I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to put a pencil mark right there. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing for the white layer. So we're going to do this. And the white layer is going to go on the inside, but we're going to, we're going to give it a dry fit right here. And you want to make sure that you've got it on here right. Don't let it move when you flip it over. To draw, whoops, <laughs> to draw your pencil mark just like that, okay? Well, like I said, this might be just a little bit more putsy, but it's worth it in the end. So now, you don't want to cut directly on this line. You want to move it just a little bit more. And then you're going to cut it. Did that cut? That didn't cut. What happened? Oh, my blade wasn't in there. Okay. So see? Just a little bit more than that. And then this piece is going to go right in here, and you're going to have the same border around all the sides. We're going to do the same thing with this. We're going to put this in here. We're going to put it just beyond the channel, and you've got to just kind of eyeball it, make sure it's straight, cut that off. And here we go. And I have to give a big shout out as I'm thinking about this to Anne DiQuisto. I'm going to show you Anne's card here shortly when I show you my mail. Look at how look at how nice that fits, right? Um, Anne sent me a moving card, a Valentine moving card, and oh my goodness, I was like, ah, I love this. And it just so happens, Anne, if you're watching that I needed a moving card for this swap because I forgot about my team swap. <laughs> and I was talking to one of my one of my friends, Kathy Miller, who's on my team, and I, I said, she said, do you have your swaps ready? And I'm like, oh my Lord, no. How many do I need to make and what's the theme? And she said it was a moving card and I needed to make 16 of them. And so I jumped all over Ann's card that she sent me. And it's just such a pretty card. I'll show you as soon as we're done making this one. So we've got this, right? Now, this is going to be our inside layer. So I'm, we're going to do a little bit of stamping with that. And I guess I didn't get my ink pads out, which is pretty dumb. But hang on. Like, where's my ink pads? What was I thinking? Okay, we're going to use Pretty Peacock. And I've got the Dragonfly Garden set. And this says, may good things grow all year long. Now, you have to kind of pretend that your piece is still here. So don't let that sway where you're going to stamp this at, okay? So I'm going to stamp this kind of a little bit off-center, right? But not a whole lot of off-center. Then I've got my pool party. And we're going to bring in this little swarm of dragonflies. And I'm just gonna kind of stamp it right down here, going off the edge of the piece. Then we've got this little strip. This is a half inch strip. And I'm gonna use the um, pre-peacock for this. 
and I'm going to stamp that right on here. Oh, that's too far down. And this is just a scrap, so we can keep trying. Oh, that one looks pretty good. I was going to say, we can keep trying until we get it sufficient. One of them that we like. Now, I'm going to take my snips, and I'm just going to snip this like this. And this, like this, and then I'm going to bring in, oh, no, I didn't. Hello, everybody. I do not know what happened again. Oh, my goodness gracious. I am plugged in. But my um, phone said emergency on it again, and I don't, I don't know why that happened. I'm so sorry. The internet has been just giving us a heck of a time. Um, and I know Barb's been having trouble. She's been getting kicked off of YouTube lately, so that's been really frustrating. Okay, I see I got a bunch of you back. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Um, again, I don't know what happened. My phone, when I looked at it, it was dark and it said emergency on it. So I'm not, I don't know. That's fun. Live, live broadcasting is a lot of fun. Thank you so much for your patience. So what we're going to do here is we're going to stamp on pool party this dragonfly four times with pretty peacock ink. Okay, and then we're going to use that punch to punch it out. Let me see if I can get my Facebook up here again. Hang on. There, it let me out. Now we'll come back in. And Okay, here we are. And comments. Now we're going to punch out four dragonflies. Here we go. One. I shouldn't have cut these. I mean, stamped these so far up. I'm going to cut this just a little bit so I can get my punch in here. And here we go. And punch yours closer to the end, <laughs> closer to the edge of your paper. Or stamp them, I mean, so that'll be easier to punch. And then here comes this one. Here we go. All right. Hi, you guys. Thanks for coming back. If you're coming in a little bit after we started again, no clue what happened, but... My phone said um, emergency, so I don't know what that was all about, but I'm tired of the emergency. I have do not disturb on my phone so that I should not have any of these problems. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just put a couple, you're going to like dry fit your little dragonflies to where you want them to be, and then you're going to put a couple little dimensionals on where you might need them. So I'm going to put one right there then I know that I'm going to need dimensionals right on this edge because I'm going to put another one right here so I can put them right on this wing like this and they kind of then stick up over the edge here right and your envelope is going to be big enough to keep them inside now here's where the moving part comes in is we're going to take um, we're going to some dragonflies and we're going to put a dragonfly right in here. So I'm going to add some glue instead of dimensionals on the inside. I'm just going to glue them in here. So I've got, to, I've got some glue on that. And you want to make sure that when you close your card, your dragonfly is not going to get smashed, right? And then this one I will do on dimensionals. And I'm just going to put a dimensional right in the middle here. And I'm going to put this dragonfly just like this. So, ready? There's your moving part. Now, you could put a whole bunch of stuff in here. Let me show you what Ann made. Hang on a second. Here's her card. And I just about gasped when I saw it. 
Is this not so pretty? Isn't that pretty? And see what I mean about what she used? The triangles back on the inside in here. Look at how pretty that is. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Anne. I love this. And you could use, of course, flowers. You could use other little animals, even chickens from the Hey Chick set. But very, very fun. The only thing you need to make sure is that this will fit in an envelope, okay? And that when you put these in here, you kind of give them a little fit first to make sure they're not going to get squished or... Like, see how my tail's getting squished here? I should have moved this guy up a little bit because my tail's getting bent over just a tiny bit there. So just be mindful of those types of things when you're when you're making a card like this. But it, aren't they cute? Love them. All right, you guys. I am going to get my desk cleaned off here so I can show you some swap cards. And also... Okay, we'll do this. Let's get this out of here. Here's my hydrangea card. Do you like how I threw that card over there? Oh, that's the same one. Here's, here's the other one that I made. We made tonight. Let's get these out of the way. Here's our pretty envelope. Okay, what's our score? 31 to what? KC, 9 to 31. Kansas City is still losing, you guys. Dang it. All right. Mail. You guys ready for this? Look at this Cowabunga gift. Look at this cute, adorable bag made out of the bloomin' paper that is free during celebration. This thing is heavy. This Connie brought me, and you guys have to see this. I already ate one of these cookies dipped in all different kinds of chocolates. This is from Donkers in Marquette, Michigan. Fantastic chocolate candy store. Then, oh, these were all wrapped in ribbons, but I already opened them. <laughs> Uber bars. These are dark chocolate from Sakely's. And then these are milk chocolate Uber bars. Holy cow, right? Connie's trying to get this girl a little fat. And then of course, my beloved sea salt caramels from Donkers. Yeah, absolutely delicious. And there's a card too, but it must be in my drawer. So I'll show you that in just a second. I might need to eat one of those, so I'll leave that out. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Where did my card go? Oh, Connie, I don't know what I did with the card. Okay, hang on. We got beautiful mail coming. You guys are so sweet to come back in here. I'm so sorry about the interruption. Look at how pretty this is. Is that not beautiful? This is from Jane Gaffney. That uses that paper that Eris won tonight, you guys. Gorgeous. And, yeah. So pretty, right? This is from Jane. Thank you, Jane. Absolutely gorgeous. This is from one of my local customers, Jeannie Calmus. Look at how pretty that is. I think this is a direct-to-paper with an ink pad. Very, very cool. Then we have this one from Valerie Albanese. Look how pretty that is. This uses some beautiful black and white paper, and then she colored in the blue berries. Isn't that gorgeous? Yes. Then, oh my gosh, you guys are going to love this one. This is from Diana Lobs. I've known Diana for years and years and years. Isn't this the sweetest thing ever? She's using one of those little, I got them out even, the little springs. And you can get these, they're called card springs, I think, and you can get them on Amazon. Super duper cute. Isn't that just adorable? This is the free Darling Donkey set. You can get that free with your $50 order until the end of the month. And then this one comes from Helen Herman. And holy cow, look how pretty this is. It sits up like this. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. She was sending me a thank you card. 
And then look at this pretty one. This is a shaker card. This is from Luba Ballas from New York. Luba, I always love your cards. They're so, so pretty. Beautiful. That beautiful poppy paper. Then let's see, what do we have going on here? This is from Susan Hine. Look at how pretty this is. Oops, let me get this out of here. Hang on, technical difficulties. Look at how pretty this is. This is one of our kits. Yeah, gorgeous. And then we've got this. Also, one of our kits. This is a kit that we used to have, but we don't have anymore. Isn't that pretty? I love these. Thank you so much, Susan. You are so sweet. Then, look at this pretty card. Woohoo! This is from Lauren Jansen. So, I remember um, I read all of these notes when I get the cards. Sometimes I go back over them, and sometimes I don't when I show them to you. But... Um, this is from Lauren Jansen, and she says, Thank you so much for the happy mail. She got a prize for attending our team meeting. She says, I love that very delightful DSP. At first, when I saw it, I thought, Oh, Strawberry is never going to use that. Boy, was I wrong. Can't get enough of it. It's, it's a whole packet of happy. Isn't that sweet? So, yeah, that's that strawberry paper. Super, super cute. And, you know, it's funny how we, um, sometimes we look at something and we're like, yeah, I don't know about that. But then you use it and it's like, holy cow, that's awesome. Look at how pretty that is. This is from one of my team members, Christine. She's sending me a thank you card for the helping with the winter creative escape event that we had in January. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Then I have... Sandra Moran. Sandra is one of my wonderful team members out in Bakersfield, California. Look at how cute that is. Love this, Sandra. Thank you so much. And then we have Julie Hillsman. Oh, I love this paper, Julie. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. She says, thank you so much for the pastel pearls. She won them at a team meeting, and she is loving being on my team. I'm so happy you joined, Julie. Then we have, hang on, this is from Karen Bradley, and look at how pretty that is. And she submitted her um, rewards form for Technique Club. So she fulfilled her six months of orders, and she got to choose $30 in product that she wanted. This one is from Suzanne Scott. Look at how pretty that is. Yay, Suzanne, you did a fantastic job on that technique. So, so fun. Love that paper. Cute envelope. Then we have Arlene Martin. Oh my gosh, you guys, ready for this? What? Look at how cool that is. I love these. I love, love, love them. Look at that. Holy cannoli. She says, I just want to say thank you for the calendar. I also won the Moose stamp set. Thank you. I think I found your videos at the beginning of this pandemic. And I know I am way behind times, but still wanted to thank you for the series of spreading joy one card at a time. That is so sweet, Arlene. Thank you so much. Isn't that pretty? I love this. That's gorgeous. Then we have... Perry Overby. Look at how pretty this is. <gasps> Love the magnolias. Beautiful, beautiful card. Thank you so much, Perry. And it says, thank you for the stamp set, glitter dots, and feels like frost designer series papers. One of her favorites. Yay! You are so welcome. Next we have, look at how pretty this is. I love these different colors. Everybody's stamping this in green, but she did it in rich razzleberry, and it looks like crushed curry and pumpkin pie. And this is from Nancy Ripley. She's from Wisconsin. Thank you so much for the merchandise credit you gave me for reaching Bronze Elite. So um, when you reach different levels on my team, you get rewarded for that. And she got a gift certificate for $25 of her choice. So that's what this was all about. Let me see if I got some more mail. Oh, 
I do. A couple more things, you guys. I for remember I forgot to do my mail last week. <gasps> Priscilla sent me this. Oh, look at that. Mistletoe season. This is an awesome stamp set. Look at this pretty card, too. Check out the envelope. My heart smiles. Just thinking about you. Ready? This is a moving card. Ready? Boop. Isn't that cool? I feel like I'm talking to, to Val right now because I go, boop. <laughs> this is so, so sweet. And she says, thanks so much for the happy mail. And she said that she ordered two of these by accident. So she's donating one. I'll give this away as, a, as some type of a prize. Thank you so much, Priscilla. Oh, I shouldn't probably show your address in there. But this is just so, so cute, right? And she put it on a post-it note so I can send it out to somebody. Love it. And... Here comes the berry blessings. Check this out, you guys. One, two, three berry blessings and a punch party. And this is coming. Look at the card. Look at the envelope. Isn't that cute? Look at how cute this card is. This is from Ginny Mullins. And Ginny says, thank you for all the fun videos and your generosity. Please share these extra stamp sets with your fans. <gasps> Love, love, and love. And she said the card is cased. How very pretty. It's a gorgeous card using the strawberry that goes with the berry blessings. This is the paper that goes with the berry blessings. Okay, next up. Oh, I got one more. And then my drawer is going to be empty. My mail drawer. This is... Let's see. Oh my good lord. I already ate. No, I didn't eat any of these, but I did look in here. Look at <gasps> Valentine candy corn. And look at how cute. This is well, This is our paper pumpkin kit for the month of January. Happy Valentine's Day from one of your many YouTube fans, Susie Cullen. And it says, last week while waiting to pick up my husband from his eye appointment, I walked into the Fresh Market in Southwest Florida. The first thing that caught my eye was a display of the Valentine candy corn. I may have said out loud, I have to get these for Kelly. That is too sweet. You know I love me some candy corn. Thank you so much. This is coming right out of here. <laughs> And what a great use of your paper pumpkin box, right? Super cool. All right, you guys. Now, I have, are you guys up for some swap cards? Do you want to see my swap cards? Do you want me to wait till next time? Let me know what you want me to do. I'm going to take a drink. What time is it? It's 8.30. I'm at an hour and a half. That's a pretty good time frame. Are you sick of me? Or do you want me to keep going? I gotta put this over there. I'm watching for you. Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay. I think that we should open these. I wish I could share them with you, but since I can't, I will eat them for you. Here's one of my little clips. Oh my gosh, they are fresh. Nothing like fresh candy corn, you guys. <laughs> okay. Here it comes. Oh, I gotta show you these cactus cards. Make the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Here you go. Beautiful cactus. This is a flowering cactus. Now I have an online class with this. It's a medley. And it's absolutely beautiful. Look how pretty this is. Here's another gorgeous card. Cactuses are very, very trendy right now. This comes with a stamp set. It comes with dies. It comes with designer series paper. Um, it comes with um, baker's twine. Comes with a whole bunch of stuff. Really, really cute, you guys. And here's another one. Look at all of these. Oh, and the felt flowers in Highland Heather and Calypso Coral. So all these dies to cut out all of this stuff. So, so cute. Flowering cactus, it's my kit class. So if anybody's interested, I do have a few extras that I've made up. Okay, now we're going to get down to some nitty gritty business. Oh, 
<laughs> um, I'm just reading some of the, some of the, oh yeah, I've got two bags. Carla says I've got two bags to share with 400 people. I can do it. <laughs> Look at how pretty this is. This is the gorgeous bloom paper that's free during celebration. Let me grab it. I don't know about you, but I'm not in a hurry to go anyplace, so. Um, here's that strawberry paper. Strawberry and blueberries and raspberries. Here's the paper blooms. Isn't that pretty? So these cards are made with the paper blooms. Isn't that gorgeous? My um, my team member and friend Sarah Simon made this, this card. I don't know who made this one, but it's really cute too, right? Here's this one. Look at this one. This is like a gatefold opening. Very cool. Here's another one. Now, remember, I get all these in swaps, okay? So what I do is I make up a whole bunch of one design. Like you saw, I made up... Oops, hang on. I made up 10 of these. And then I get a whole bunch of different ones back. A whole bunch of different cards back for them depending on what the theme is. And that's what I do with my team every month, is we have a card swap. Kathy Miller, who's on my team, takes care of it. Oh my gosh, she's amazing. Yeah, isn't this pretty? This is some more paper blooms. Another one, paper blooms. If anybody asks any questions that I miss, please feel free to re-ask them right now, because I am watching the screen. Here comes some field and flower. This is also a beautiful, beautiful set of free paper with a $50 order. I like this layout. It's very clean and crisp. Here's another one. This is the stamp set. You can get this free with a $50 order, this stamp set. This is a designer paper. That's the same heel. I think it's called heel. Oh, I don't know what it's called. Hang on. <laughs> Let me look. Heal your heart. So let's just grab these because I do happen to have them right here. So here are the free stamp sets during celebration. Berry Blessings comes with the strawberry, raspberry, and blueberry paper. Appro approaching Perfection stamp set is free with a $50 order. This is a stamp set with a matching punch that is not about celebration, but it matches this paper, so it's really cool. Heal Your Heart is free with a $50 order. Corner Bouquet is free with a $50 order. Darling Donkeys is free with a $50 order. And Touch of Ink is free with a $100 order. So I just wanted to make sure you guys know all the things that are happening here with celebration just in case you're new I know most of you know what's going on but some people may not we have to give them some grace right I did all those here we go this is really cute this is our new ovals our double oval punches and there's that matching twine that I used on the, this card tonight you get white and then you get this blushing bride here's another one this is a very popular layout right now Very simple, but very crisp. I love it. Here's that news flash, the Approaching Perfection stamp set. This looks really cool. Look at this one. Don't you love that? The simplest fun fold ever, but it's just so cute. Okay, here comes the corner bouquet. Love this, very simple. It's kind of tilted to the side like that. This is a great card. Remember, I made a whole bunch of these in different colors with all the papers. This has that corner bouquet just stamped on the bottom down here. And I used the, is it healing something or another? What was it called? Um, heal your heart. I want to say healing hugs if that's not it. Oh my gosh, Connie was here and she got a, a full view of my memory problems. So I'm sure she was kind of shaking her head like, holy cow, it's bad. This is really pretty. So like I took this one, it's a, it's a corner stamp, but I took it and stamped it up like this instead of in a corner. They stamped it like this. 
and got that look. I thought that was really very sharp looking. Here's another one with three panels on it. This is an awesome card. Love that. And now we get into our donkeys. Da, da, da. Love the donkeys. Super, super sweet, right? Oh, let's see if Kelly sees what? Denise, what is Kelly going to see? I missed something. I can't go back because then I have to stop. Oh, look how cute this is. Somebody let me know what I missed. I see Connie made a comment on there. Connie, what did I miss? You are fine. What happened? <laughs> Isn't that cute? Adorable. Okay, you guys, you're going to die when you see this one. Ready? Look at this. Here's this little donkey, like, coming out. Is this not hilarious? And this is like a little barn door. So look at how cute that is. Yeah. Adorable. <laughs> I love the donkey. I can't help myself. I gotta keep this in here. Who made this? Um, Diane. Super, super cute. Here comes another one. How cute is that? Right? This uses that ombre paper, you guys. Where's that at? I don't even know if I brought that up. Is that here? Oh yeah, this paper right here. This uses the ombre, the oh so ombre paper. Super cute. If you want to know how to do this one, Barbara wants to know how to do this one. Yeah, I could show you how to do this. <laughs> Loving the donkeys, Eileen says. I know, they're super cute, right? Remember this one? I made this one using our black and white paper. I made a couple different colors in this, so that was really cute. Um, Vi is asking if the donkey set is in the mini catalog. No, Vi, it is not in the mini catalog. It is in the celebration brochure. You get it free with your $50 order. Lola wants to know if the donkeys are still available. They are. When you place a $50 order, you get the donkeys if that's what you choose. So this brochure has all the things in it that I just showed you. All these papers, all these stamp sets that I just showed you are free with your $50 order. So that's, and that ends the end of this month, just so you know. Here's some more donkey. Look at the cute paper down here. Very similar to this one. Love this. Hi, Sue Schnell. Happy to see you on here. Kathy says the donkeys are so stinking cute. I know, right? Look at how cute that is. Love it. This one's really cute, too. I told you guys that I was like kicking myself because I did so many swaps in December, right? And Vi, you are very welcome. Um, donkeys are on back order. They'll be back in stock. We make the stamp, so it'll take maybe a couple days for them to not be on back order anymore. You can still order them, though. They'll just send them when they're available. But I made so many swaps that I wanted to pick, poke my eyes out. Not pick my eyes out. Poke my eyes out. Said I will never do that many swaps again in my entire life. And I just signed up for a whole bunch with that new butterfly bouquet. <laughs> Look at this one. There we go again. We got a little spring action happening. Doot, doot. Super cute. Anything going on? Nope. Here's another cute one. Yeah, the donkeys are a hoot, you guys. Doo, doo, doo. Thanks, Robin, for letting me know about that, too. The red donkey card on Pinterest may be the same person. Oh, it's very possible. The red donkey, this this one right here, yeah, it probably is. I I um I swap with a lot of people that do their put their stuff on Pinterest. But look at how pretty this is now. This is that strawberry blueberry raspberry paper that's free with a hundred dollar order. Where'd that go? Right here. This stuff isn't that gorgeous? And those stitch so sweetly dies, you guys. I'm telling you, if you don't have those, you gotta get them. Like, you have to. <laughs> this is by Rose. She's on my team. Here's another really pretty one. This is a very simple card, but how pretty is that? The paper is just beautiful. Again, free with your $50 order. Here's one that I made. It's got a vellum overlay that's embossed. Vellum embossed is very pretty, but again, that's this paper. 
and the berry stamp set. You get that free with a hundred dollar order. You get the paper and the berry stamp set free with the hundred dollar order. Here we go. Another really pretty card using the paper. Here's another pretty card using the paper and the stamp set. Gorgeous. I should show you guys the, the strawberry punch is on back order right now, so I don't think it's available to order. It's not actually, but here's the punch. You got the strawberry and the leaf and the little um, stem on the strawberry and then this flower. That's where these flowers are coming from, is from this punch. That will be back in stock. It's just not available right now. It was so popular. Here's another one. Great layouts on these. They're very quick and simple, but lots of layers that make the cards just spectacular, right? Oh, I like this one too. This is very cool. Two banners and a little rectangle. Love it. Here's another one. I would have never put this blue paper with that strawberry, but I think it looks really good. <clears throat> Here's another pretty one. Hi, Angela Orvis. I haven't seen you in a long time. Another really pretty card. <laughs> Tina's taken a thousand screenshots of these cards. Oh, I've got these. Hang on, you guys. I've got these in. I tried to take these all out of the envelopes. I missed a couple. Let me see what's going on here. This card does something. I can feel it. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. How cute is that? This is made by one of my team members, Patty Skiba. That is totally cool. Look at how she did that. We're going to have to make this one too, you guys. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> See, I would have never known that if I wouldn't have taken it out of the envelope. What a knucklehead. <laughs> not, not her, me. <laughs> Isn't that? Yeah, it makes you think of picnicking. You are absolutely right. Look at how pretty these are. They're so pretty. And then the rhinestones. Those really add a lot, too. Yeah, this whole bundle of product is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, this is another gatefold card. Look at how cool that is. I don't like that. I'm going to keep that one over here, too. Not that I don't like the others. I love all these cards, but some of them, it's like, ooh, an idea pops in my head that I could show you how to make these using a different sweet or whatever. Look how cool this is. This is from Rhonda. Look how pretty that is. Here comes another one. I guess I thought I opened all these, but I didn't. Look how pretty that is. Those strawberries using the punch and the flowers and the double oval. That's cool. I had a really good day today, you guys. I got a lot of work done. I figured out what I was going to do for tonight right away, which like never usually happens. But then it gave me time to work on other things today, too. And guess what? Guess who took a nap? Who took a nap? Yeah, this girl right here took a nap. It was awesome. I went downstairs to refill my drink, and Steve like took one look at me, and he's like, you should go take a nap. And I'm like, I am going down here to get a drink, and then I'm taking a nap. <laughs> Well, I always love this little panel in the middle that opens. Yeah, very cool. Let's see. I'm trying to find the football score on my screen again. Ooh, 31 to 9. My cousin's going to be really mad. Oh, look how cute that is. Oh, that's adorable. I love this. Who made this? Deb Snyder. She is so darn good. I am going to save that one. We're going to make this too, ladies. We're going to make that. Very, very cool. And again, not that these other cards aren't really cool, but it's just something very different. You can look at these and make them right, but this is like, oh, I wonder how that works. That type of thing. Oh, look how pretty that is. I love it with the Just Jade. I would have probably never used that, but it's one of the colors in the paper. Two more. Only two more left. And then you're going to see all of my celebration cards. Well, this is by my team member, Christine. Very pretty. Very pretty. And last but not least, look at this. Isn't that cool? Now you guys have a, a gazillion and one ideas to use with all this celebration stuff. 
And you also know now what you need to get before the end of February if you want any of these things because they're not going to be available after that. Very, very cool. I'm going to keep these so we can make those, right? Okay. Um, I don't think it's a good idea for me to flip my... Well, I'll try it. We might get cut off now, so if we do, just be aware that it could happen and whatever. Sometimes I sound really stupid when I turn the camera down to that. There we go. Oh, look, the crown's falling off. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for sticking with me. This was so fun. I always have a good time with you guys. And I think Sunday nights are like my favorite night of the week. Because I have to spend it with you. Don't forget. I always appreciate your orders. It's what keeps me in business. Keeps these free videos coming your way. If you would like to join my team. I would love to have you. And I think you will have a wonderful time with it. There's nothing to lose. If you're going to put in an order for $100. You should get free shipping on it, which you will if you order the kit. You do not get celebration items with the kit order. You get five packs of cardstock and a paper pumpkin kit and free shipping and um, membership in the Stamp Happy Academy website. And we do a question and answer every Tuesday morning live. You get to answer, ask me questions. We do team training. Learn how to use the website. Learn how to put in your discount order. Learn where the catalogs are on the website. Learn where to find those new pre-orders of all the things that we get to order early. Like the beautiful butterflies. Um, all of this stuff. I just can't even all the fabulous things. Plus a 20%, minimum 20% discount on everything you order in the future. Being part of a team is so much fun. Being part of something bigger is so much fun. And you know what? If you don't like it, you can just let it ride out. And you can still continue to order from me. There's no hard feelings. I never feel bad about it. Um, some people will join again when it works for them. Whatever. It's completely up to you. Love these candy corns. <laughs> But you should join my team and do it before the end of February because it is the best deal. If you're not getting a discount on your Stampin' Up! products, you need to get a discount on your Stampin' Up! products. It's just that simple. And you need to be part of our team because we're a lot of fun. I have a team meeting Tuesday night. We do it live via Zoom. Everybody can attend from no matter where you are in the country. I even have some people in Hawaii. <laughs> yeah. So, it's a lot of fun. I give away a lot of prizes. We do demonstrations. You get to see um, me or other people make pretty um, demonstrations. Oh, necklace, please. Are you asking me about this necklace? Is that what I missed? I keep watching for the questions. This is, um, this is a little crown, and Rose Bell gave it to me, and it's gold rose. No, it's rose gold <laughs> from Rose Bell. I'm trying to see if I missed anything else. Just looking at all your messages, you guys. Okay. Um, what else do I have going on? My next um, kit class for February this month. I was a little late in January, so I'm still getting these kits out. I mean, I'm getting them out when I said I would, but I didn't post them till late in January. My next kit class in February is going to be using, I believe, the Garden Wishes, which most of you, if you are a discount shopper or demonstrator, you have. And I'm reading, have you seen the Donkey Pyramid card? No, I haven't, Penny. But I will, I'll, I'll take a look at that. Um, what was I saying? I don't know. Connie, does that sound familiar? I don't know what I was talking about. <laughs> Anyways, um, you can find all my kit classes on the right-hand side of my blog, www.astampabove.com. Thank you guys so much for spending the evening with me. Looks like Casey's going to lose. I don't have a time left. So Casey fans, go Buccaneers. Happy for you guys. It doesn't really matter to me who wins. <laughs> yeah. Oops. 
Nope, I'm not bringing Michelle on the camera. <laughs> have yourselves a good week. I will be back next Sunday. Oh, I have a blog hop on Thursday. So I'll be doing that. Yeah. Okay. Good night, everybody. <laughs>